move on to my scene here. Today I'm talking about Linux run levels. What are Linux run levels? Linux run levels are certain modes that as system administrators we should be aware of. And what they allow us to do is switch to certain uh, modes within Linux. So for instance, single user mode or multi-user mode without a GUI uh, and the like. So what this allows us to do is for troubleshooting purposes or for um, uh, you know, even basic system administration where we don't want a GUI to be enabled uh, on a server, but we want it available in case we need it. So we can switch to a run level that is required uh, at the time. Also, in certain run levels, we can customize that run level to run certain scripts uh, or uh, make a certain environment needed for a specific um, system. So first things first, what we'll do is demonstrate uh, or, or go through the table. So there are seven run levels, including zero and six being the highest. Uh, sorry, uh, reboot being the highest. Okay, so from zero, we have halt the system, meaning uh, shutdown. One, single user mode. Two is local multi-user with limited networking. Full multi-user with networking. Four is not used by, um, it is not used, so it's there for customization if needed. Five is multi-user and six is reboot. So on your day-to-day -day activity, so say I have a Ubuntu desktop edition running here. So what run level would this be? Well, I have a Windows, uh, sorry, I have a GUI environment. Okay, so I would say that it is uh, run level five. Okay, so I'm running a full, rich, a GUI environment. And so on a server, what a server without a GUI, for instance, what run level, what maximum run level could I run? That would be three. I mean, six would be obviously higher than three, but that's rebooting the system. So, I mean, unless you want a system that constantly reboots, it's not very useful. So let's play around with uh, run levels. Okay, so to change your run level, what you do is uh, issue the INIT command. So sudo init, and let's drop this environment to three. See what happens. So as you can see, uh, we are now in run level three. Uh, so the GUI is gone, but the server is still up. So if I do IP, D, IP ADD or show, um, I'll get my IP. And I can log in. Okay, let's check what happens if I go to run level one. Okay, if I go into run level one, this is rescue mode. So this is essentially the system well, when you get presented this if the system could not boot on its own. So this is kind of like NFS couldn't mount your uh, some drive um, mount is not working. Something has definitely gone wrong in order to see this um, see this screen. Okay. And this is single user mode. So if I come here. As you can see, I cannot SSH. The reason why SSH is working right now is that the connections are already established. But if I exit, you'll see that I cannot access it. If I do IP ADDR show, I do have network connectivity. The only reason why really I still have network connectivity in this mode is that I dropped down to this level. So 
um, the network hasn't disappeared yet. But in reality, uh, you may not be able to get the full network depending on what's wrong with the system. So if I do init3, let's see what happens. I'm still waiting for the server. I might just kick it out. Let's just reset that server. Okay, so I'm back in we had to reboot the server it probably didn't like uh, switching run levels uh, something probably happened there but you get the picture now let's say we want to reboot the server now we all know the reboot command but in general if you read most documentation sudo init 6 is actually a cleaner reboot process so if I do init 6 as you can see the server restarts now in init in the init directories, there are certain scripts uh, and certain things that happen during these run levels that are executed where the reboot command is a bit more of a harsh -er command. So let's check that out, what that directory looks like. So in here you see RC zero one two three four five and six. Okay. So let's see what happens in run level three RC three dot D. So in RC three dot D, you can see that there are um, these certain scripts uh, and uh, things that happen here. So, you see, for instance, this is ACPI. So, what you can do is you can put scripts in here if you wanted to uh, in customizations. Let's look at rc6.d. So in rc6.d, you can see that there are certain events that happen here. Okay, so we'll come here and we'll read. So this is rsyslog, uh, an rsyslog event, uh, probably um, writing to the journal. Now, the reboot command pretty much does the same thing. Uh, there's certain events that happen, but there's certain things that get skipped. So that's just a side note. Now, this is my post in the on, on my website. However, um, there are some things that have to update because uh, if you have a previous version of Ubuntu or Debian, for that matter, um, the etcrc.d is a valid directory. However, um, with system D. So this was in uh, system five directory with system D. There are certain things. So I need, I'm going to update my posts actually here, um, that, that were introduced. So it depends on your environment. Now let's talk about system D. Now 
on system D, which is now being shipped with um, Ubuntu, we pre we need to uh, add if we want to change the default directory. Or sorry, the default run level of our servers. Now, why would you want to change the default run level of your server? So, I'll give you an example. I have this Ubuntu here, and by default, it comes to run level five. It pulls up the GUI and loads that all up. I don't want that behavior. I don't want a GUI. I want to launch a GUI if I need a GUI. So, what we can do is edit our systemd to uh, enable just user, uh, multi-user.target. So if we do pseudo system CTL enable multi user, multi dash user dot target. Okay. We get this. So actually there we go actually sorry so what we're doing is setting the default to multi-user dot target okay let's reboot our server As you can see, our the server is now booted into a server type mode. There's no GUI, okay? Um, the GUI is installed, but uh, it does not launch by default. So if I do sudo init five, hit enter, put in my password. There we go. Here's a GUI that is now launched. So to say, let's say we want to change everything back to normal, we will set the default, the, the systemd default to graphical dot target. Okay. And if we reboot yet again, we should see that this server will boot into a graphical environment. There we go. So I hope that this helps you with uh, learning Linux run levels. And um, I hope you uh, found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also visit me at seanmancini.com or reach out to me, sean at seanmancini.com. Talk to you guys later.